Oh, God. My little girl. My sweet. My little girl. Oh, God. Oh, my little girl. Oh, God. Come, dear. On your feet. Get back into bed. You've suffered a terrible loss, and your own condition is still quite fragile. Here, let me help you. I don't even care if I live or die. I've lost everything that's ever mattered to me. I've lost my husband and my baby. <laughs> I keep thinking this is a terrible dream. And I want to wake up any minute. And I'm still going to be pregnant and full of dreams for the future with my baby. Only I'm not pregnant. My baby is gone for nine months. I've been talking to her, I've been singing to her, and telling her stories about the wonderful future she's going to have with me. I told her how lucky she was to have the most wonderful father in the world. I keep wanting to pinch myself. You know, so I wake up and everything's the way it was before I lost her. But that's not going to work. Because I'm not going to wake up because this is real. This is real. And my baby, he's gone. My sweet, my sweet little girl, <laughs> my sweet little girl is gone. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Mrs. Winthrop, if only I could say something to help. Honey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. No, Ethan, it's not going to be all right. It's never going to be all right. Are you just going to wait for me? I don't ever want to see you again. Just go. Oh, God. Gwen, come on, please. We shouldn't... We should be going through this together. You want to be together with someone, Ethan? Why don't you go find Teresa? Because her arms are always open to you. I just want you to leave me alone. Gwen, no. We need each other. We're both suffering here, okay? And you shouldn't go through this alone. I would not be going through this at all if it wasn't for your need to be with Teresa. I you hate Please. you! Ethan, I hate you! I you hate you! I you hate you! I you!